Well, I'm going to convert my uh, John Deere riding mower, the filter system, over to a spin-on filter. It has the easy change filter, and that filter costs $40 or more. This filter will just cost just a few dollars. Uh, the only thing that I need to uh, convert this over is the little oil filter nipple, and I'll be sure and include that in the description below. This is the easy change filter, and in concept, it is a very good idea, but uh, at a price of around $40, that's just kind of out of the range for a yearly oil change. Uh, I'd just soon use a little spin-on filter and uh, be done with it. Well, I've got my oil pan, and I fashioned a little uh, kind of a spill tray with a piece of cardboard and uh, it's gonna spill into this drain pan, fingers crossed. I'm gonna take this bolt loose. It's gonna remove the whole assembly off as one piece. I'm not gonna worry with taking it all apart. And, uh, but anyway, cross your fingers. Let's give it a try. Okay, once you get the bolt out, uh, your whole little filter manifold, filter and all will easily come off. And uh, I have the catch pan under there, and so it caught everything. And what that leaves you when it's off there is just your standard filter mount. The only thing is, is that little uh, nipple, nipple that I told you about, you have to install it. You don't want to use pliers on it or anything like that, vice grips. Get you ease out or make you one something like this out of a bolt. And that way you can uh, install it, get it good and tight. And then just tap the ease out on the sides and uh, it'll come loose. Okay, so we got it installed and tightened it down. And uh, you don't have to do just super tight, you know, just nice and snug. Then tap it, uh, the little ease out or the bolt that you made to install it. Uh, tap the corners and it'll come right out. Well, on the right side of the engine is the, the drain plug and I wasn't going to bore you with watching me take that plug out and draining the oil, but I used a little cardboard trick to kind of keep the frame as clean as possible. And of course, a little oil did get on there. I am going to uh, look for a pipe extension. I'm not going to do it today, but uh, Probably the next time we change the oil, I'll put a little extension on that and it'll make it a lot easier. Well, it's full of oil now and uh, I've checked it. It looks good. I've ran it and don't have any oil leaks. Checked around the oil filter, no oil leaks on it. And so it looks like we're good. I'm gonna do a little cleanup around the engine and the mower and uh, we're gonna call this done. Okay, gave it a little wash off and everything's nice and clean and kind of... And while I was at it, went ahead and squirted the whole tractor off. It kind of needed it. But anyway, everything's looking pretty good. So anyway, the conversion went really well. Uh, no hiccups along the way. I had like the little Briggs factory oil filter nipple and installed it. No problems there getting the old filter off. No problems there. So if you don't want to spend $40, $45 every time you change oil on one of these later model John Deere tractors, just uh, feel free to convert it over. Cost $10. So anyway, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.